Mr. Chambers, Mr. Chambers, it is meal time. No, I would not like any food right now. Kindly state your preference, please. Blast it! What time is it? There is no time in space. I said, what time is it? What time is it on Earth? Can't you give me the answer without an exercise in Euclidean geometry? Now tell me what time it is on Earth. Noon. Twelve noon? Twelve noon. The recollections of one Michael Chambers with appropriate flashback and soliloquy. Or more simply stated, the evolution of man. The cycle of going from dust to dessert. The metamorphosis of being a ruler of a planet to being an ingredient in someone's soup. It's tonight's bill of fare from the Twilight Zone. At 11 o'clock this morning, Eastern Standard Time, the first of these landings took place outside of Buffalo, New York. Gentlemen, please! As of this moment, we do not know what they look like or what they are. Will you know that several of their craft have landed and that... Would you be willing to be interrogated here at this time? There are UN delegates present of the most important countries and cameras broadcasting this statement live across the entire nation. I have a more interesting proposal. Tomorrow we will demonstrate to all interested parties a new and extremely interesting new power source, which is atomic in nature and which can supply a form of electric power capable of supporting entire countries, costing only a few dollars. Extremely economical. Gracias. Well, Chambers, what do you got? Got a corker of a migraine headache and an eye strain. You need help? <laughs> All donations gratefully accepted. But I showed this stuff to every man on our staff and I've had a dozen people working on it since late last night. I don't know whether we've even come close, or if we're still a million miles away. Can't decipher it? You keep trying, that's all. This is a tough nut. This is a real tough nut. We've licked the title of it anyway. What does it say? Can you translate it? To serve man. I hope so. I fervently hope so. Going home, boss. Need me for anything? Need you for anything? Like what? This isn't exactly a beehive activity. That's the odd thing. The fantastic ease with which human beings make adjustments. One day we watch with bated breath as a single person orbits around the world in a rinky dink cubicle, and they think of this as the most historic moment in the history of mankind. One year later, they stand in line waiting to get into a spaceship to take them a hundred million miles away in space. I'm on the list too. The trouble is, their quota is filled 24 hours after they make the announcement of a new trip. But while I'm waiting, I think I'll do the next best thing. It's starting to fall into place. I'll get the answer eventually. Please check your guest visa. This is flight number 267 from Earth to Planet Mabel. And the whole trip and its millions of miles only just takes a few days. Mr. Chambers, don't get on that ship! Man, it's a cookbook! No! 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 How about you? You're back on Earth or on the ship with me? Doesn't really matter, because sooner or later, we'll all be on the menu. All of us.